Hi everyone, this is MJ Kim, MJ TV. Uh, welcome to my uh, Kim Kim Tosh YouTube channel. Uh, today um, I want to introduce the, you know, how to upgrade, uh, high-end uh, upgrade with a Mac uh, Mini 2012, late 2012. Uh, I still like um, uh, this uh, Mac Mini 2012. Uh, this is i5, and uh, it had it has a uh, four USB port and one HDMI and one old style Thunderbolt, and also that's the Ethernet port and uh, uh, FireWire SD, and then there is a uh, speakers and mics. So those are Mac Mini. This is small, and compared to my iPhone, uh, that is uh, this thick. Then, um, you know this is pretty small and it's not that heavy when you open it up so I'm gonna give you a big screen so this is I make mini port like that so um, then if you open it up this is Mac mini there's a memory and a cooling fan and those are Wi-Fi we have a two SSD I already put it in there at the time so this is aluminium uh, pretty solid and then you can leave very small so it's not much and you will take the space in your the, the small office so um, that's what I want to begin um, if you do the uh, pass mark rating with your i7 uh, the rating is will be um, 5437.4 which is a uh, 30 percent percentile so this is i7 even though it uh, is 8 years old it's pretty good um, also the 2d and 3d graphics <coughs> uh, there is no way you can upgrade those one because it's already uh, soldiered in your the, the logic board so if you really want to upgrade your the graphic card um, uh, you need to uh, have a uh, eGPU who also support the uh, uh, USB and then like uh, with the Thunderbolt 2 so actually you gotta buy the you know connectors and you know Sonnet uh, eGPU and you can purchase the uh, RX 570, 580 and 55700 XT so those kind of things are completely with the Mac but there is some um, you know side effect that if you use the uh, eGPU with the old Mac, Mac Mini, uh, there is some restri also restrictions uh, is reported from the you know community, so uh, you can take a look at that. And also the the high end upgrade is a uh, you only upgrade Mac up to 16 gigabyte DDR3, and just to keep in mind that you cannot do more than that. And also the you with the data doubler that I mentioned in the last uh, video. And then uh, you will you can have uh, two uh, SATA uh, SSDs or M2 or like if you have a connector it's probably uh, NVMe uh, you can uh, faster than the, any anything else. Uh, so if you the Mac Mini the beneficial to have a Mac Mini uh, is um, uh, is a uh, you can utilize your small the office space. Uh, my office is very small. Um, uh, it's only a support the one HDMI, so you might need to hop to make a dual monitor. But uh, I purchased the uh, Acer 15 inch uh, portable monitors, uh, you know, uh, 1080p. Uh, 80p, uh, those are like high definitions. Uh, you don't, if you, um, this Mac Mini, you, as you know, that USB 2.0, uh, but um, if you hook it up, and probably the brightness and resolution could be in a lower. But you know, it's still uh, you, know, you know affordable to uh, uh, work with the dual monitors, and also that Apple Magic Two keyboard is pretty cool. It doesn't uh, this is a uh, Apple Magic Keyboard One, and there is a uh, battery in that side. But the uh, Apple Magic Keyboard Two is uh, so, uh, support the uh, Thunderbolt, and also those ones are um, uh, light uh, lightning uh, port, and those ones are. You know, actually, the battery is inside, so you can uh, re do this uh, rechargeable. So that's pretty cool. Um, so if you have a uh, like comparison between i5 to i7, those uh, comparison is between uh, i5 2.5 gigahertz dual 
uh, versus uh, i7 2.3 GHz quad core comparison. Uh, CPU mark at 1783.4, and the CPU mark for i7 is a 5437.4. So you can see the big difference. Uh, graphic card uh, inside in, inside the uh, you know graphic card is already GPU was soldering in it, so you can do nothing about it. And memory mark is uh, you can have a 16 gigabytes and 1895. Uh, 2000 not much difference uh, disk mark is 3655 and 4937 um, uh, uh, just because uh, I use uh, this one as M.2 so M.2 is uh, more faster than uh, just uh, SSD I can have uh, um, like almost 40% uh, of perform uh, better performance than uh, just regular SSD. So keep in mind, uh, if you use a d data doubler, and then you don't have to buy just a 2.5 inch SSD, uh, which I uh, did it before, and then you can use a, a SATA connector to the M.2. Uh, that uh, st small stick is much faster than 2.5. The you know old style. So Mac Mini late 2012 data doubler project is um, uh, 6.1. And then I mentioned this one before, so you pretty much know about that if you already watched my the previous video. And then if you don't watch it, and then you can uh, you can go back to watch it. Uh, so one terabyte uh, that stick is a uh, one one hundred seventy six dollar eighty cents uh, as of uh, September uh, twenty twenty, and um, the Western Blue um, uh, three D and at five hundred gigabyte SS SSD forty nine uh, forty uh, eighty four dollar ninety nine cents, and also um, uh, this um, uh, Sara two M two, it costs only six seven dollar. It's not much expensive though. Uh, it's a uh, it's including shipping. Probably you will spend uh, ten dollars. So. This is a Mac uh, late uh, 2012 i7 upgrade. Actually, uh, uh, in order to buy the this uh, the Mac Mini i7, I searched the Facebook Marketplace, and then I drove uh, th uh, three point uh, three and a half hours the one way, uh, the seven hours to do the round trip, and I bought it uh, uh, with uh, somebody uh, didn't want it, so actually uh, he offered me uh, cash and. Actually, I pay for it. Um, those are just used one that from somebody else. There are like uh, the big, uh, pretty the uh, life scratch on it. Is uh, the condition is uh, less than moderate, but actually, uh, I I don't you know mind for the, the scratch and as long as all function is good in shape and which is which it is. And also, I bought the 256 gigabyte. M.2 and then also 3D 500 gigabyte. Uh, the price is dropped to the 79.99, and also like a 16 gigabyte, I need a DDR3. So actually, I purchased a 85.99, and um, those are like uh, connectors from M.2 uh, to a SATA, eight dollar fifty-nine cents, and I also need a, I need a data doubler, a data doubler for that uh, SATA connector. Uh, plus, and then when you uh, you know remove the logic board from uh, this uh, unibody, the aluminum unibody, you need to have a special tool to the hook it up those uh, two holes. You know, you're gonna like uh, the pull uh, from uh, this uh, side, so you are, you will need to have a special tool to remove those um, uh, the logic board. So that's what you need. So you see the all right uh, side uh, in the middle uh, picture, and you will see. That the M.2 with the SATA cable. So um, you uh, make sure that you need to be careful to remove uh, those four pin the um, fan connector. Don't uh, uh, use your finger uh, to remove it. Uh, use this pin set uh, like to remove it. Gently remove it. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna fry your things. I messed up myself, and then I will give you a picture that what I messed up. Basically, you, you need to have a special tool like this, um, just gently remove it, uh, but actually I used the finger, so I broke the one pin, so the fan does not uh, uh, rotate, it's not operational. So what can I do? And then I have to have this fan, 
otherwise uh, that CPU is uh, gonna be overheating and then it makes you the slower link so you know it doesn't uh, give any performance to you know using uh, your like a Mac mini over than 10 minutes so I had a big problem I uh, also you need to have a micro soldier micro soldier soldiering tool so um, I don't have those that one so actually there is nothing I can do the only way is uh, I uh, just uh, search eBay and uh, probably purchase another logic board with uh, 250 to 300 dollars which is uh, um, I might buy that uh, used one with a whole the unibody with a uh, three four hundred dollars and uh, just basic one but it's hard to find it also the logic board most likely I was not able to uh, find from the Canada uh, most likely in the United States and also that cost is uh, ex very expensive so I asked my friend that to uh, use a tool uh, very good and then he uh, just uh, bypassed uh, those uh, pin that I broke in and just put him into those uh, he, he just hooked it up he soldiered uh, that once uh, with, uh, with uh, this nut and actually uh, he was able to uh, get uh, this fan running so you might uh, see uh, the uh, third uh, pictures and then uh, three pin is uh, directly hook up with the, the three pin that is a uh, solid and one pin that uh, one was broken by me is a uh, you know bypass from the main route so he was able to uh, fix those things for me and then I was going to buy those um, uh, four pin connector actually eBay you're gonna buy most uh, uh, everything uh, for the part that you need it actually I, I found it it was located in New York uh, 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 Manhattan 4 pin uh, fan connector for Mac Mini A1347 2019 to 2015 and then actually I was able to see the 4 connector but um, 495 but shipping fee is uh, 2351 those are American dollars and then um, it takes uh, one month shipping because uh, we are under COVID-19 and the duty uh, is custom clearance it takes a long longer than we expected so pass mark rating for like uh, i5 is a uh, um, uh, I mentioned this one before this is a uh, core duo and with uh, like uh, 1564.9 those are i5 and if you do the pass mark rating it's a Geekbench 4 because of uh, the Mac Mini i5 and then I installed uh, uh, Sierra uh, Mac Mo uh, the Mac OS uh, 10.12 so it doesn't support the uh, Geekbench 5 uh, so I run Geekbench 4 uh, to the compare the Apple to Apple so Mac Mini late 2012 uh, Intel um, i5 is uh, 2948 for single core score and then multi core score is a uh, 5795 so i7 the uh, Geekbench 4 score is a uh, 3198 so single core doesn't make any much differences and also multi core because it's cold core is a uh, double uh, thousand uh, ten thousand seven hundred fifty six um I was able to the uh, you know just try uh my friend's uh MacBook pro which is uh released in the 2020 this year and that um I thought about this is i5 is so uh, it, but it's a eighth generation so you know it's 1.4 gigahertz so I thought you know it was slow but actually uh it was pretty good than I expected so 4641 and then um, the multi-core score is a 1701 so you know that he has a uh, four eight gigabyte uh, DDR5 um, but um, actually uh, looks like it does uh, MacBook Pro uh, 2020 uh, with uh, you know basic option is uh, over 2000 21 2200 in Canadian probably 1800 uh, in American so basically then MacBook Pro that uh, he borrow me which one is this so I, I'm able to show uh, this MacBook Pro actually I have to uh, uh, bring it back to him uh, but that one has a uh, one uh, like a uh, speaker port and then two um, Thunderbolt 3 there is no USB A type or C type so uh, it's only support C type so um, you know there is a big uh, touchpad and then there is a you know 
properly. Then you see the bar. Those are pretty cool. Those are like color bar. It works. So very thin. Those are 13 inches of Mac Mini, uh, Mac MacBook Pro. So uh, I was have a I have a chance to um, compare those um, MacBook Pro 16.4 with Geekbench 4, the 1400, uh, 4641, 40, and then multi score is a 1700 So even though it's a 1.4 gigahertz um, Mac, uh, MacBook Pro and uh, uh, i5 uh, uh, like a uh, quad core and then it uh, actually is, uh, had a better performance so tool to use and you're gonna buy ifix.com and also you can buy from ebay and whatever it is you need uh, this type of screw to open it up to this mac so all the you know screwdrivers a Mac Mini has a big uh, issue with the heating issue, and then it gives you throttlings, and if you go, it's a uh, temperature goes uh, over 85. So I searched the internet, the Google's, and they said the Mac Mini 2012 overheating put an ice pack on it. So I put ice pack on it, on top, and then um, that time uh, was I uh, keep it uh, five minutes, uh, but it start to getting water, so it uh, the. Uh, best bet is the dermal paste. The, this model of the Ming Min is notoriously poorly ventilated, and the dermal paste to get rid of, you know. So it's only ventilation here is, uh, you know, those this small line. So this can, um, this ice pack don't do that. This can lead to condensation inside the device, and subsequent water damage. Best is to find the cause of the overheating and fix it. So actually, when I open it up the logic board. And that dumber paste is almost, uh, uh, you know, stick to the, you know, the the, the heating, um, like uh, heat sink. So actually, I was uh, hardly um, uh, uh, take apart uh, from the, that dumber paste with the CPU and GPU. So uh, basically, it was hard time to just remove it at the time. So basically, um, dumber paste, uh, you need to have a new dumber paste. So this is a, a Mac Mini later 2012 tear down. So what I did is, is uh, take everything apart and use the tool and remove, uh, you know, take uh, remove the logic board from the unibody and actually um, do the dermal paste, apply the dermal paste, and just put it back on. And then actually the temperature uh, is much better. Um, temperature control is much better than it used to be. So um, I do uh, all the you know build up Mac Mini or Mac Pro or MacBook Pro, and then uh, I uh, went through all the Mac the generations so uh, since uh, uh, 1985 to current. So if you need any service and my advice, and uh, please feel free to contact me. And those are um, Mac Mini i5, and it's uh, Windows 10 and um, um, the Mac OS uh, Catalina installs on it. And then it's a high-end upgrade. So this is even though it's i5, it's affordable for the basic and moderate user. And uh, also the I, you know, the from the past and until uh, May or June, until I uh, uh, um the build up the MacBook uh, Mac Pro, and then uh, I kept um, uh, using this uh, Mac Mini uh, to um to make uh, my the YouTube video. So. Actually, for the basic to moderate user, uh, this Mac Mini uh, could be good for you guys. Um, thank you for watching uh, my uh, uh, YouTube uh, Kim Tools channel, and the next time, and I will upgrade for the uh, the uh, MacBook Pro laptop series. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.